You, you said you were waiting for your brother? My what? Your brother. Oh, yes. He was supposed to... Everything you've killed. And this guy gets special treat. What was that? <laughs> he was possessed. What in the world? What? Okay. That was creepy as heck. I cannot be the only one that heard that. Okay, let's try that again. Um, what did he say? <laughs> he was supposed to meet me here. And then I got, okay. Um, I Am I supposed to believe that? Look, you're very pretty and all, but I was told to uh, just leave me alone. No. What do you mean? What were you told to do? Nothing. Nobody told me to do anything. Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't mean you can go around threatening people. How would you know I was a Grey Warden? Yeah, uh, how did you know I'm a great warden? I just, uh, overheard it, that's all. If you'll excuse me, I want to get to the Chantry before the sun goes down. Absolutely not, you're not going anywhere. Stop right there, answer my questions, or else. All right, all right, I'll tell you. Just don't hurt me. This is more than I bargained for. Look, they just paid me to watch the castle and send word if anything should change. But they never said anything about monsters. I haven't even been able to report anything since this started. I'm stuck, same as you, I swear. How do I know you're telling the truth? Here, this is a letter from them. It has instructions and everything. Keep it, do whatever you want with it. I just thought I was serving the king and making a bit of coin on the side. You have to believe me. Fine. Then I think you should help defend Redcliffe tonight. Oh, all right, I'll do it. Thank you for your mercy. I won't forget it. I'm not being merciful because, yeah. Um. So that's it. Let's head out. And we still need to check that one house up at the top of the hill and then speak to Sir Perth. How do I get? Oh, okay. Yeah, that voice that we heard earlier, that was, I want to say that was obviously a glitch in the audio files. But I believe that was um, an NPC that we're going to meet sometime soon. But it's oh, weird. Okay. Hey, what is this? First thing I see is chest. Okay. Injury kit and salve or something. Ballad of something. Let's talk to you. Yes. What can I do for you? Hello. Nothing for now. Very well. That was a waste. Truly. I guess we can talk to him after? I don't know if I remember him. What's up here? There's nothing. Just the weird statues. Okay, so we're going up here. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I'll figure it out. Oops. Sir Perth. Greetings, Grey Warden. Greetings. I'm as relieved as Bantigan is to see you here. I must admit I do not know quite how to address you. Is my lady sufficient? Um, call me Grey Warden. No, just call me Ilaria. As you wish, and thank you kindly. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. Ah, well, with a Grey Warden aiding our defense, perhaps all is not lost. Is there anything I can do to help? We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. Uh, is there anything else you need? No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the Mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. Have you considered using the oil in the village store? No one told me of this. Oil, you say? How much exactly? Some barrels, I don't know. <laughs> Enough to set many monsters aflame. Assuming that would hurt them. 
Yes, I see what you have in mind. That might be effective, if used carefully. Yes, excellent idea. I'll send some men to collect the oil. We'll use it to slow these creatures down. Have you anything else to ask me in the meantime? Um, I have some questions for you. Ask me whatever you wish. I'm not really sure. Um, you mentioned something about an urn. I mean, I already know about it, but, well, I'll ask when anyways. When fell sick, we were at the loss. Nothing worked to cure him, and he just kept getting worse. Finally, our lesser Isold came up with a plan. The urn of sacred ashes is a legendary artifact said to hold great healing powers. If found, it might save him. They say the followers of Andraste smuggled her ashes out of Tevinter and hid them in Ferelden. The urn's never been heard of since. We knights volunteered to seek it out. Few of us have returned. Many are still out there, unaware of what is happening here. And um, just what was the Earl sick with? We were never certain. He thirsted for water and then grew weaker and weaker. He brought in a mage, but even that did nothing. The Alessa believed he was cursed and that we needed the power of Andraste herself or he would surely perish. Why did the Arlesa believe anyone could find the urn? The Al once employed a scholar, Brother Genetivi. He had proof the urn was in Ferelden, or so I was told. So the knights left the castle defenseless. Yeah. Not at all. A great number of soldiers remained in Castle Redcliffe. I wonder if they perished there and were transformed into these things. Mm. The thought chills my blood. Can no one find the other knights and bring them back? Eventually, perhaps. The ones I have here were those near enough to recall within the last few days. I only returned myself because I was passing by Redcliffe and heard the news of strange attacks. Okay, carry on. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and loot. Beautiful. Standing Oops. here, you wouldn't know of the trouble down in the village. It is gorgeous. It's really pretty. Hmm. All right. So we are. No word from the castle. No, all is still. Andrasi's grace. This is. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Though there is naught in there but death. Say no more. The R lives, and I will not listen to your inauspicious chatter. Jeez. Can I talk to you guys? We are glad that you are here helping us. Perhaps you will make a difference. Perhaps. Make her watch over us all in this, what may be our final hours. What about you? So I understand the Ald's brother placed you in charge of the village's defense. Your presence is welcome. Thank you. You look like Jurek. Okay. Or Davith. Davith. All right. So we're going to head back down, and I guess we're supposed to talk to... Um, the revered mother, I, yeah, in the Chantry, and, uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, we're in the Chantry, and, um, this is Caitlin, so her brother made it, Bevan. I like that name, Bevan. Bevan said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. Yeah, that brat was more than a problem than he was worth. Yeah, um, about the sword I found in your home. Evan told me about Grandfather's sword. So you have it then? I do. I suppose it won't go to waste, at least. I kind of feel bad about keeping it. Um, perhaps. I mean, I don't really have any money, but I'll return it after battle. It belongs to your family. Use it well. If we survive, I'll gladly take it back. Thank you again for Bevin. With my mother gone... Well, I'm just glad he's safe. I can't thank you enough. Just stay safe, both of you. The Maker sent you. I just know it. Thank you again. I mean, they could probably um, sell the sword and make more money than I would probably give them. So, um, what? Do, oh, yeah, we're supposed to talk to the. Wait a minute. Who? Are, oh, okay. Mother Hannah. You are a stranger amongst us, yet you still agree to defend our village in its darkest hour. We are most grateful to you. Okay. Be grateful when we win the battle. Um, I have my... No. Be grateful when we win the battle. 
No. I cannot stand by. Yeah, let's use that. Not many in these modern days would honestly say the same. You are a woman of worth, and the maker will smile upon you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. Surely this cannot be the entire village. These few are all who are left. All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? Sir Perth needs holy protection for the knights. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. Can't you just bless them? I can pray with them and give them my blessing. But Sir Perth wants me to call upon the Maker to shield them from evil. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. But if they think it helps them... I suppose their belief in the Maker's power could inspire them, but it just seems like trickery. Very well. If it keeps them alive, I will do what I must. I have a number of silver cast holy symbols. Tell Sir Perth that he can have them, and that wearing them will confer the Maker's protection. Now please... Let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can. And I suggest you do the same. Okay. Awesome. So now we can go and talk to Sir Perth. And give him these, um, I guess, necklaces. And I believe we're all set. I don't think we need anything else. We've visited or we've checked all the doors. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Sir Perth is the last person we need to speak to before we speak to Mayor Murdoch. And yeah. I'm excited. How about you? <laughs> you can lie to me. I don't mind. Uh, here we are. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. Okay. Um, I'm ready. No. You said you wanted my holy protection. Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? Well, I mean, she did. Okay. She has some holy am amulets. Must do this? The faith that will protect these men must come from their heart, surely. If they are the same as the symbols worn by their priests, well, that would more than suffice. Okay, Liliana's not going to like that. I'm pretty sure she's not. Um, you think it would actually help? I'm glad I could help. <laughs> I will send some men to collect the amulets. Please give my regards to Mother Hannah for seeing some sense at last. Is there anything else you need? No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. Okay, well, carry on. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. Yep, Liliana did not approve of that. I mean, I understand faith, but I get it. But they they need something tangible, and some people are just like that. Some people need something that's just a little more tangible, even if it's just a symbol of their faith. And I and there's I don't see anything wrong with having a symbol of your faith. So Liliana, you can stop being such a judgmental. Um, whatever and uh where's mayor murdoch where'd he oh there he is looking straight at him the repairs are underway surprisingly quickly considering how drunk owen is you look good we may just make it i'm ready to make my stand so let's oh how's morale the men's spirits are high for now far better than i expected to be honest good Dwin's presence makes the men a bit more confident. It helps to know a veteran is on our side tonight. Since you convinced Owen to start repairs, we're pretty well armed now. That is a relief, let me tell you. Overall, I'd say the militia's very ready to fight. Never thought I'd say that, but there you go. Is there anything else? Nope, we're ready to fight. Let's go. Are you sure? Yep. 
There's still time left if you need to talk with Sir Perth or do anything else. Nope, we're good. Let's go. And good luck to you. You'll need it. Ooh, I like this battle. Okay. They're coming. Get to your positions. Make ready. That's crazy. Look at them running up here. <laughs> Look at the pix Look at all that those pixelated sky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> let me let me do my job first. Dog. Oh, he can't be summoned? Seriously? Okay, let's let's do some crowd control here. Um hmm, I probably brought the wrong mage. Dang it. Let's try this. Um Let's see. Let's hit you. And then Alistair, you're doing your thing. I really shouldn't have brought Liliana. Um, what is she in? What is she doing? Okay. You should run while you Oh my goodness. This is a mess. And we lost to Liliana. Great. Wynn is about to go down. So when I need you to actually drink and I need you to drink some lyrium. Can you res? You can res. You can res. I need you to res. Um... Liliana, where is she at? Where'd she die? She's in here somewhere, isn't she? Okay. Can she do it? Okay, where'd she go? Oh, she's right here. Dang it. when I need you to drink um, and I need you to heal and I need you to drink again the monsters are attacking from the lake they're attacking the barricade we need help night stay here and guard the path come on we need to hurry Okay, before we go, my well, Liliana's up. Okay, before we go, we need Liliana to take a, I guess, an injury kit. Yeah. Or. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hurry! This is insane. I don't remember this being this crazy. Who's down here? Actually, Liliana, I really need you to be in um, range mode. Okay, so what do you have? Cool. 
Um, is there anything that you can take? Um, let's put some venom on your bar and I don't know. Can you use that? Let's um, have you use some of that. Actually, I need to use some too. What is your okay. Did I use it? Okay. Um, where is Mayor Murdoch? I want to make sure he is. Where is he? That's Thomas. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Okay, we're good. Liliana, will you please stay in range? I hate when she switches over. Okay. Let's see. Liliana, what can you do? Um, use distraction and... Actually, she doesn't have that many. Okay. Well. <laughs> Okay, let me look. I think everybody's dead. <laughs> I think everybody's dead. Oh gosh. Um oh, let's see. Thomas. I think we just lost me. Okay, well. <laughs> Let's see. Let me see. I need you to heal me, please. Um, where's my heal? Wow, I'm rusty already. Heal me and. <laughs> Seriously? Where's my dog? Liliana. Drink. When. Drink. Me. Drink. Liliana drink and win drink. This fight is insane. Okay. Okay. Um, where are you at, Alistair? Let's have you shield bash. And can you, when you need to drink? Okay, when is overcome? Okay. Alistair. 
I wonder why Wen is not drinking. Liliana, drink chick. Uh, when okay, I feel bad because everybody died and we're looting. <laughs> oh my gosh. Everybody died. Dawn arrives, and we survived the night. We are victorious. Yay! And though this victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroism of these good folk beside me. I thank you, dear lady. Truly the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. Um, I was happy to defend the village. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Murdoch of Redcliffe, mayor and beloved father, we salute you. You and so many others who have perished here, walk with he who is your maker. Long may you know the peace of his love. Um, so let it be. With the Maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. Okay. Well, now that we've killed everyone in the village, um, I guess we'll go ahead and... Level folks up and meet Bantigan by the mill. But we're going to go ahead and end the episode here because we've been playing for quite a while. Um, yeah, let's uh, yeah, let's go ahead and end the episode here. I do hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you're not a member of our family, I hope you decide to subscribe. I upload thrice weekly, so hit that notification bell so you'll know when I have a video up. And until then, I will talk to you later. Ciao.